The Outlander season 4 finale brought a conclusion to the overall story arc for the season. While many are worried about Droughtlander, let's use the time to look back at the best moments of the season. What an episode the Outlander season 4 finale was. It had almost everything we could ever ask for. Sure, there were certain moments we wished could have been in, but with beautiful writing and closure to many story arcs, this is an episode to go down in the history books. It set up the fifth season spectacularly and in a way that means book fans can guess. This is an episode that delivered every single emotion, whether we were proud of young Ian for his choice, overjoyed that Roger and Brianna were reunited, or worried for what's in store for Jamie and Myrtle. With the help of TV time for the final time this season, I'm looking at the best moments from Outlander Season 4, Episode 13. 5. The Delivery of the Letter Okay, I did have to laugh at the number of writers it took to deliver one message, but it was an important message. One of my favorite moments was the cliffhanger at the very end. I loved the whole scene, though. We got to see Joe cast as fear for Murtaugh, the side-eye from Jamie and Claire as they realized there was something going on between Murtaugh and Joe Casta, and then the worry on Jamie's face. He realized that he was going to have to go after his godfather. And of course, we cut to black. Just what will Jamie do next? 4. Roger making his decision. I fully support Roger taking time to make his decision. There's a lot of focus from some on what Roger should have done for Brianna without fully dissecting everything that he must have been feeling. Learning the full truth of what happened while also still reeling from being a Mohawk slave would have affected Roger's ability to make a decision. And this was a major decision. He needed to think about something that would affect more than just him and Brianna for the years to come. What if he couldn't accept a child that may have ended up looking like Stephen Bonnet? They had no idea at this point, and wouldn't for many years, if Roger or Bonnet was the father. I loved that we got to see Roger go through all those emotions. He was distraught that Brianna had been raped and angry that it had been by Bonnet. At first, he was overjoyed at the news of the pregnancy and then disgusted that Bonnet could have been the father. It's no surprise he needed to take time, but I am glad that it was only a couple of days. 3. Brianna and Roger reuniting Roger's decision led to him returning. As Brianna looked out over the path while she packed her belongings at River Run, she saw this lone rider. After losing so much hope, she immediately got it back and went running to Roger. This moment still sends chills of happiness. It was packed with emotion from both Brianna and Roger, as they reunited after almost a year of being apart. For us, it was just a few episodes, but Roger had left Brianna after their wedding night and the baby was now two months old. But what really made this moment was the very end. Roger wanted to see his son. And he said it with such conviction that you knew he meant it. 2. Claire standing up for Brianna. Claire did initially stand up for Roger after she and Jamie told him everything that had happened to her. This was a moment that I loved, but it was what came after that really made this stand out. Claire understood that Roger would need time to think. She had been in a relationship where Frank had loved someone else's daughter as his own, but she would have also known how hard that was for him. So, she would know what it would be like for Roger. Yet, Brianna is her daughter. And not just hers but her and Jamie's daughter. She was extremely clear that Roger was free to make up his own mind, but he had make sure his decision was final for Brianna's sake. 1. Young Ian's Decision To get Roger back. The Frasers had to make a trade that was worthy. The items they had weren't good enough, so Jamie offered himself. When young Ian went to translate, he offered himself instead. Young Ian certainly made a better choice than Jamie. He was young, intrigued with the native ways, and spoke the language. He knew what to expect with the gauntlet and genuinely looked happy that he had been viewed as worthy to be adopted into the tribe. However, it was the conversation that Jamie that stood out for me. Young Ian became a man in this moment, ready to step out on his own. It was clear he was ready to become the man of worth Jamie wanted him to be.